hope you're having a good Tuesday morning. Uh, just drop the boys off from school. I'm going to now pop into town and get some candy. Yeah, some cash. Um, the boys, the younger two, have got a um, half-term disco at the school that's on this Friday. Actually, it could even be a, a Valentine's Day disco, I suppose, but that's what the cash is for. I need to pay for it. I think we'll park myself over here. It's better light over here. It's best light in the house. Should have should have thought about that in the first place, really. Um, but yeah, ten ten pound. The only problem is um, it, we need six pound because it's three pound for a child. So um, we'll, we'll try and do this. Yeah, I know people say, "Well, why don't you take ten pound?" They want it for money, so. And also it means I can try and do this trick. <laughs> See if it works. Ten pound into coins. Taking, you can probably hear her for a walk. Not only am I going to take her for a walk, I'm putting backpack on. So I'm going to change t-shirts. Oh, just like that. Yes, it works. I'm getting into doing this magic. Yeah, change the shirt because I don't want to get this one sweaty. So this one, old t-shirt, don't matter. Anyway, also. Also, I won't be taking the camera, so I don't think I'll get... I might get some shots, got my phone, I suppose. It's only a walk with a backpack on. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I've got about 20 kilos on here. In old money. Was that about ten pounds? I think it is. No, it's the other way around, isn't it? It's more. Twenty kilos is about forty-four pounds ish. Yeah. So now I'll take the dog for a walk. Yeah. Sit down. Oh. oh, yeah. Definitely. One. You can't say I didn't do it. <laughs> no. no trickery there. Oh. Disgusting. This better. Got me coffee. And I'm going to be on the computer. You can't actually see, you can see the computer there. Oops. On the memory stick. I'll just carefully swing you around. There we go. Yeah, on the computer. Let's get you back. Ah, I wish I hadn't done that now. Ah, oh, that, okay, that'll do. A bit Let's get to what the reason I'm talking to you here about. It's about this, this writing that I've been doing. Um, how do I, how do I explain this? Um, probably best would be to give you some background. Me as a child, me as a child, bad English, as a child, I wasn't probably the best reader or writer of any kind. Um, I ended up turning to comic books, pictures, 
I could follow pictures, no problem. And I would read, I would sort of read the bits of the stuff. And as I got older, I got more into reading comic books. So my, my, uh, how do I put it? My reading was made up of comic books, basically, like superheroes, like Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, your classic ones. And then later there was like the Justice League, and then later there was the X-Men and stuff like that. Way before any of the movies came out. <laughs> Uh, but since then I've always had a passion for the, the the stories of those kind of things and basically when I left school I, the reason I keep looking down here is because I've, I've had to write notes because I'm terrible uh, sitting down in front of a camera and then just blanking out <sighs> anyway I got to the point where I was leaving school it was the first year of college so it was the last year of school first year of college it was the summer then I started writing some stories. I had a few storylines, ideas and stuff, and I got into it. Now you say, I actually got into it. That's when I started getting into it. I was a late developer. I started getting into writing the stuff after I left school. <laughs> uh, perhaps it was because it's the wrong time. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The fact is, that summer, when I left school, that summer, I kind of sat down and I was writing. Earbuds in, writing away. And I started, originally started, with drawing the characters. Um, one of the characters I drew, which was one of the main ones, I called him Handyman. Well, I'm glad to say that's not his name, and he's evolved into a much, much more uh, complex character than just a character that was Handyman. <laughs> Rather embarrassed to say that, though. You will know which one it is because he has a great big yellow H on his chest. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So I started doing writing some sort of stories back then. My influences were comic books. Also, I was influenced by Star Wars. Big, big. If you're not, if you don't know that now, if you don't know that now, then I'm, I'm surprised. As a family, we are big on Star Wars. We love Star Wars. We love Star Trek. Fast forward until about five years ago. So about five years ago, Flynn's in his last year or two at school at uh, primary school and they're, they're English they're doing storytelling and, that, and he's, he's struggling a little bit he's really good at English but he was, he was struggling a little bit and I decided to go and get this box it just seemed to appear from nowhere it's out of shot but anyway this box in here I'll just quickly grab it out has got my writing in that I did all those years ago uh, on and off and also on and off um, I had but real life came along and basically that was whew, shelved and the one that seemed to stand out the one that they got to look at all three of them got interested at that point um, was the hyper search one because I had actually started writing it on the computer and I printed it out I printed what I'd done out on, on paper and at the time I hadn't really done much at all with the story I hadn't gone very far with it um, it was a very skinny skeleton of a story I mean, it was it was some twenty odd pages like that, but they liked it. I I was I found that amazing. I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's cool. They actually like it. Perhaps I ought to pull my finger out and do something about it. Then what really was uh, <laughs> what really sold it to me was the fact that Flynn turned around and said, "Dad, why didn't you publish it?" I didn't have an answer for that. Uh, from that day forward, I decided I was going to do something about it. I'm going to finish this book. And when I finish this book, I am going to publish it. I, it, it was like... <coughs> so I got myself fired back up about writing it and finishing it. And during the course of that, about a year later, <coughs> Flynn wrote himself a... a sort of that sort of size exercise book. After he did that... I think he must have got the, the bug for writing because he then asked if he could help with the, the story that uh, I was trying to get on and do and at the time I went no and then after I thought about it I thought well that's not good because I'm then squashing his desire to do something that he enjoys he enjoys something I enjoy so why not and there's a there's a um, sit down there's a vlog where I show me and him sitting down and talking. So I think it's all fast forward. And that night, we sat down and we talked it through. We talked through ideas of what he could do to add to the book. 
I like calling it a book now. Originally it's just a story, but and so he came up with a lot of ideas and there was a lot of bantering about and anyway, cut a long story short, yes he did, he added a good chunk to this story. And so it's now a collab, me and Flynn. Father and son story. This this story is basically like a mash of science fiction, space science fiction and superhero science fiction and also hopefully some form of mystery in there. Um, so that's generally the sort of genre is so if you're a sci-fi fan I hope it will appeal to you and same with if you're a big fan of like the superhero ones. This book I hope will appeal to you. <laughs> Just bust a tear. <clears throat> hello! 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 Welcome to another Abigail's Challenge. Two of our normal competitors have dropped out. They don't want to do this challenge. But Daniel, either in his wisdom or his uh, naivety, has decided to do it with me. These are cow gloves. These are veterinary gloves with their fingers chopped off and I had a load, I had a, had a whole load of them. Do you know, I don't really want to carry on with that conversation. The challenge is no thumbs. We've left the thumb on because we're going to use some tape and take them down. So I think out of the two of us, I think you better start first, didn't you? Do you think your hands are going to fit in that? So we'll jump to the challenge in a second when, when we've finished Hopefully. working out how to get them open. Our challenge will be Write her name down with a pen, or try to. So it's 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 getting. I can't even do it with thumbs, let alone. So it's it's um, opening the pen and writing it down. And then there's trying to cut some paper. That we better be careful with. And then try and pick up a beaker. So we'll do the first challenge, which um, oh I don't need to click it. You've got a got a pen and paper, and you've got a. That's it. That's the idea, isn't it? Can't now write your name. Are you doing okay? <laughs> yep, you can read that. That's definitely. Yeah, I think we're. I think. I think we've got a team there. Next round that is to cut. That. Well, you you cut the paper. You yeah. Um, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a line on the paper. I can't even pick up the scissors. I'm gonna draw you a line, and you try and keep to that line. Okay, there's the line. He's gonna try and keep to that. Sun might be a bit bright. We've got sun going straight across the table here, so we'll hold it like that. You should be able to see the line. He's gonna follow that. Okay. You be careful then. Don't put your fingers in the front. Cut your own nails. Careful of your fingers. Yeah, I think you've done it. <laughs> Well, 
You fold the line, yeah, yeah, you fold the line. There's a whoop whoop. Uh, put it over there, yeah. Whoa! Luckily, it's not full or got anything in it. Too easy. Is it? Especially one hand. You're trying it with one hand first. Oh, all right. Yeah, but it, yeah, right, okay. Okay. Mr. Wisecrack. He's got my skin! He's got my skin! Yeah, all right, all right, don't be over the zealous. <laughs> Thank you. Run off. Right. First one. He's really not. Right he, he's not really, he isn't really impressed with that one. Mm -hmm. So, what's that first one, Mark? Please write your name. Right. Mm -hmm. See if you can do that. <laughs> oh well. I'm using my thumb. I won't use my thumb. You want me to write what? Daddy? Yes. No. Oh. For bonus points, I write my name. Ah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> right. Draw a line. This is where it gets more difficult. A few moments later. Come on, I've got sweaty hands now. They're getting sweatier by the second. Just like. Not like that. Not like that. Just like that. Right, come on. Hold it up then. Show them the, the sack. Accidentally whipped him. <laughs> yeah, but the, more importantly, there's a line. There's my wiggly line I've got to follow. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Hey, are you going to play a game? Do, 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 do. See, I'm not using my thumb. I'm not using my thumb. Very carefully. Okay. Do, do, do. Somebody just... What's this? Distraction tactics. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, but you're supposed to do it carefully, you see? That's a whole idea. Bear with me. This might take some time. There's a chair sticking in my leg. Ta-da! Go on, show them that, that, that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you dear. Now my fingers are stuck to the, stuck to the scissors now. That must be the beaker then, is it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put something in this. What? No, no, come on, that's not on. Yeah. That's not on. What are you going to... Okay, come on then. Great. There'll be water all over the table now. <laughs> so that's... You can probably just about see that. No, maybe not. Let's bring that back. You can probably just about see that there's water in it. I was going to use my thumb then. <clears throat> so I, I've got to pick this up. I'm going to... No, we're going to make it harder for you. Pick it up and drink it, is it? No. You're going to make it harder. What? I did the same Flynn. as you. I did the same as you. Flynn. A few moments later. This is called ganging up. He <laughs> got to the team. <laughs> Would you not mean to do it? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm not going to. Charming. Yeah, go on, stick his hand as well. Stick his hand on his butt. What, do you want me to lift it? Yes. Yes, what? Oi, 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 Ah, my elbow. Scissors, come on, scissors. I ain't even... I, I, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> We're allowed to use our thumbs, but not. Such, lo fine. such loving attention to make sure that. Now try and pick it up. Pick the beak. <laughs> I'm gonna knock this line. My hands won't go much wider. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got it. Try and pick it up. I can pick it up. I can pick it I'm up. I'm drinking it. Mmm, look. I'm not drinking all this, honey. 
<laughs> You're gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm praying, I think. I'm gonna get my beard stuck to the sellotape now. I did do it, surprisingly. Ah, <sighs> right. Come on, take it all off then. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to make it hard. We should... I think we should have it harder. Why not hard. getting your guitar and trying that? Pardon? Give me what? Guitar and trying to do that. I can barely play it anyway. Better go and get it. The strumming album. It's my pride. Pride and joy, I can't play it very well, but... I can't even... There, my leg. What are you laughing at? <sighs> How am I supposed to strum it anyway? Supposed to use your thumb? <laughs> I can't even uh, pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to use my fingers. Yeah. I've got to go right. upstairs because it wants me to say something. Right. Well, give me a give me a um um. C. A C. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. That didn't sound good. Doing. That's a C in it, or is that a C? No, that's a C. I think that's a C. What else then? A D. That's it. A D. Oh, a D. I can't remember which one this is. I'm. I'm having. I can't use my thumb on the back, so I'm pushing out this. Is that a D here? Yeah, I think that's a D. What about the other D? Yes. An oh, M. E. An e. e. Oh, this one I can't really remember. Think. I think this is an E. Now can you F? You can put it away now. An F? So was that? You can put it away now. Oh, right. Thank you. An F? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching our challenge. Um, it's a shame we couldn't have the other two, but hey, you know. <laughs> it was uh, much fun. Hope you enjoyed it as much as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. I might have to get Flynn to do taking it in my own.